and welcome to another Let's Fly the Clyde with the Unfamous Fly. Here we are at the very top of the River Clyde, looking back towards the Crawford direction. And uh, we're going to head up here to a section I call Telford Bridge. Unsurprisingly, because there's a bridge at the top built by, I think is it Thomas Telford? Um, this section here, as you're looking at it, is uh, fairly thin water in my experience, even when the river's running high. Uh, it's quite difficult to find a decent depth to fish. Uh, I'm sure when there's decent enough water in it in the summer, it might be quite good for uh, a bit of dry fly fishing here. A wee bit shallow for a nymph in I've found. Um, you come up and it goes around the bend here, and then you can see the concrete um, barrier here that protects the, the road against the erosion from the river and the the deeper channel tends to start on the right hand side just about that barrier and it works its way up again uh, at the time of filming this the river's pretty low so it's quite thin water at the moment um, but uh, we've got a sort of deepest channel on the right hand side here we're heading upstream and then that sort of crosses over and then the deeper channel is on the left, and it's that, that that section up here that I tend to find a bit more productive right along here. Uh, get up to the bridge, there's quite a few nice few pools on the way up here. And then at the bridge, if, uh, if you just pay attention to the left-hand parapet of the bridge, just down there, there's a wee gully that comes down. You can see where there's a car parked on the road there, and there's a gully that comes down. There's actually a wee graveyard there which has uh, got the uh, remains of a number of Irish navvies that uh, built the, the the bridge way back when. Quite a, an interesting wee spot in itself, historic spot. Uh, I've never really fished much un from beyond under the bridge there. Um, it used to be, this section used to be off limits because of the crayfish problem, but nowadays you can fish up here. But uh, it's getting access up here. Um, Sure, there's ways you can get to the river bank, but you can see between having the motorway here and where the road is, it's a wee bit difficult. But I'm sure there's ways down to it if you if you study a map. You can see the roads on the right hand side, so it's got a steep looking bank that there. Uh, so I don't really have any real experience of fishing this bit, but I'm just giving you a look. As we get up, I'm going to have to stop anyway because uh, you'll see the the Glasgow to um, London main line, uh, the West Coast railway line, so it just comes down here and you're not allowed to get uh, too close to a, a railway when you're flying a drone and uh, so it goes round the corner and this is Elven Foot up here. So or it's the start of Elven Foot, I think Elven Foot Village is just a wee bit further on but this is the uh, very top of the river and um, quite popular with the dry fly anglers up this bit but, but it's a wee bit shallower and uh, I think you have to do a fair bit of walking to, to find the fishable pockets and pools but uh, hopefully I'll let you see a bit more of that very soon. If you enjoyed that um, like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next Let's Fly the Clyde video. Cheers!